Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do an unstuffing, restuffing, reallocating this money. This is all of the money from the challenges that I am pulling. I want to start some new challenges, some that I'm not even going to allocate towards a specific sinking fund. The reason being is it makes it less, less fun for me to know that that's where that money is going. I just want to allocate the money as needed, wherever it needs to go, and I want it to be fun again. I want savings challenges to be exciting, and when they're finished, it's even better, right? So if you're new to my channel, my name's Amanda. I'm 34 years old. I live in Oregon and I'm not all cash budgeter. I do zero-based budgeting where I give every dollar a home every time I get paid. So if you're interested in cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, all on a low income, this is a channel for you. Um, I did pull a lot of challenges, but we'll go over the ones that we still have here really quick and we'll explain why. So I'm keeping the 36 weeks challenge because this is important to me. I'm not sure what this will go to, but it's going to go to something. It's $360. I didn't do a 52 week because I don't want to wait a whole year to get to this goal. So 36 weeks. We are keeping the spring challenge. So um, I didn't pull any money from this. I'm keeping the rainy day roll. Um, I think the little, little girl here is very cute and I wanted to keep doing this challenge. Um, and then I also am keeping the kitty uh, yarn ball challenge. This is going to my freezer. So anything um, that gets stuffed into this envelope will go to a big freezer stock up. Next is vet emergency. I'm going to be working on some new envelopes, some new sinking funds. I know I said I wasn't going to until I had my emergency fund, but I'll explain in a little bit. We are keeping the struggle bus challenge, but we're starting over on that. And then we have a bunch of empty stuff that we will go over in a second. So there are things that are going to be coming up that are going to kill my budget if I do not um, allocate money towards those funds. Um, we have DMV fees. I need to make sure that I have money in case um, my animals get sick. I have kids that will be here off and on all summer. Um, I have just basic needs that need to be met. Um, we sometimes need new shoes. Sometimes we need new clothes. Sometimes we need to um, pull some money for some personal expenses. Um, maybe, you know, some things at the store that everybody else buys um, that we just don't have it in our budget for. Um, my husband did want to start uh, saving some money um, from money he gives me for gaming, um, if possible, even if it's just a dollar at a time, because that is something that he does with my kids, and it is a hobby of his. Um, and we also just have basic things that need to be met, right? Everybody has high priority and low priority sinking funds, and my high priority is what I've been stuffing lately, um, but I need to widen the horizons on that. Um, and that includes holidays. Holidays are really important. This made us both really sit down when we had the, work, the week of three birthdays in a row. Um, two birthdays back to back one day after another. And then mine was at the beginning of the week. That was not a good planned out situation. So things need to get better with that. I'm going to start Scooby Snacks. Yet again, I'm not allocating this to anything particular. I, If I haven't already erased it, I'm going to be erasing um, the little sides here that say where they're going to be allocated to. Um, I'm also going to start this Axolotl Challenge. I'm going to utilize this to bring my 
um, youngest son out to breakfast. He likes going to um, Original Pancake House. They're all over the place. Um, we haven't done it in a really, really long time since last year, actually, and he keeps asking. So I definitely want to allocate money to that challenge for that particular reason, since he wanted to do the idea of the axolotl. Um, I'm going back to some scratch-offs. This is a Fairyland mystery, and it's from Ta uh, Tanya's Budgets and Chaotic Life. I love her channel. And then, of course, I've been requested to do Shut the Box, so I'm going to do that as well. And I might actually allocate um, some money into other funds as well, but... Let's get on to this and we'll go over jars and what I'm going to be doing with jars. So we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 makes 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 makes 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 makes $69. So I'm excited to finish off this challenge the best I can. Let's see if we can do it. I don't think it can be done in this one swoop, but we will see. Um, I have been really busting it out there. Um, to make my budget work with me. Um, there are going to be a lot of changes in May. I'm going to be budgeting a lot differently as well than I have done in the past um, because we're starting a new fresh clean slate with um, savings challenges that are going to go into sinking funds. Um, I wanted to start something new for budgeting as well. Now let me make something clear. I appreciate everyone who gives me advice. I appreciate everybody who says, hey, go watch this person's channel. Um, or have you thought about doing the budgeting mom method or whatever that may be. It works for them because they have a set paycheck. These are people that are W-2 workers that are getting a paycheck and it's regular. I do not have a regular paycheck right now. I am a self-employed, contracted individual working for gig apps, and I also do some side work and temp work where I can. However, my budget is very much so, and I'm not even mad about it, I'm just letting you guys know, and I'm sure some of you know already, I can only do what I can do. So I do the best I can with my budget. I do the best I can with my income. A lot of the issue is the income, not the budgeting. You can budget all you want, but if you don't have the funds, you don't have the funds, right? Right. So we're just going to do what we can with what we've got. I appreciate and respect everybody who watches my channel, um, who has good wholesome, humble advice. But I do things that are going to fit with my budget. Technically, technically, I could probably make a video every day, but I don't. I could probably cash out every day and do some sort of something with the budgeting system, but I don't. I wait until the end of the week to do my budgeting. So, let's put this $69 into use. Let's see what we can knock out here. So, we have 41. Where's my calculator? What do we need to finish this cha challenge? 41 plus 8, 40 plus 30, 50 plus 10, 25. Oop. 29. Let's just start from the top. So 
So technically we would need $119.20. Um, I don't have $119, so we're going to stuff what we can into that jar. Let's pull our jar out. And this jar is heavy and full. Another thing I want to mention to you guys, I don't have any way of storing this long term. So yes, I'm going to bigger banks, but this was kind of just an experiment to see if I can even do this, if this was even possible. So we're going to put in two tens for 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and one. And we're going to put that in here. Now, mind you, I don't know what's in here. I have stuffed this randomly. I have added coins to this. I have um, added random dollar bills to this, <laughs> to this here uh, jar. So, I mean, it's just, it's all at random. Let's pick a color. Doesn't have to be special. But my poor dog, she is just having some serious allergy problems, you guys. Like, you would not believe. Like, I, I've never seen a dog have such bad allergies during this time of year. Maybe it's just me and that's just... But it's, it's every year. It's really bad. Just really, really bad. I have given her medicated baths. I have gotten her allergy shots. I have um, done all sorts of different dog safe homeopathic stuff. Um, she has had Benadryl. It's just getting to the point where I am like, this poor thing, I just, she, if she could be human, she would be my best friend. And I know that sounds silly to say because I'm 34 and, a, and an adult and I talk to a lot of people and a lot of you reach out to me on Insta and uh, I have friends in real life and I have my husband and my kids and my, my immediate family, but... She's my dog friend, and I feel bad when she's she's not doing well, you know? It's it's frustrating, and that's, that's why my husband and I really sat down and we're like, okay, let's be real about our budgeting. Like, we want to have $1,000 in our emergency fund, but some people just can't get to that right away. Sometimes it might take you a while. There was one girl I was watching... And she actually hit 1K, and I cannot remember her name. If I can remember it, or I can come across her videos on YouTube, I will put it in there. It took her over a year to get $1,000, you guys. And that was okay, because she was taken care of everywhere else. So, let's go on to the next one. Let's knock out 840. Now, let's see if we can get another big one. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Ah, we're so close. We're so close to another, um, amount. So let me, let me see what we've got. What do we have? You know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to pull the spring challenge for now. I'll reprint that one. I love that one with the bees. I, I just need, need to continue with that one. So we now are going to count again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And we'll put in 31 for th 30, 50. I'll just stick that in there. This is just getting ridiculously full, you guys. So I'm gonna have to shove some of this money in here off the camera <laughs> to get it to work. I literally have it like between my knees and 
I'm like shoving the money in here. <laughs> I would normally like record this, but. even fuller than it was before. Ah, that's crazy. I know I'm kind of shaking the camera a little bit. So, um, let's color this in really quick. Let me find a marker. Where is a marker? That marker. All right. So let's color these in really quick. I'm actually going to be back. I'm going to color this in off camera. All right. I went ahead and colored that row in with my marker. Uh, sometimes markers are best, I'm not going to lie, I like the colored pencils and they last longer, but they're kind of janky sometimes. Alright, so let's go ahead and stuff, try to stuff 1025. Mind you, we are over a little bit um, on the 3050, so let's stuff 9 for this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We will put that in here. All right. See if I can get an angle where I'm like actually stuffing this in here. All right. I can't zoom out any more than I'm already zoomed out. All right. Look at how full this is. That's crazy. All right. Let's go ahead and color in the others. Let's use a blue. Let's color these in. I know this is another long video. I'm sorry, guys, but I am determined to get this finished. Just totally determined. I'm excited. I want to know, like, how much is in the jar? What's in the jar? What's in the jar? And then we can put money to places. I have been like looking at everybody's poll uh, vote and it's looking like emergency fund is it, which I, I figured you guys would say emergency. I really did. All right. So that's colored. What do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put that in there. All right. So I put six more dollars in there. So we'll owe. 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120. So, I owe you 120. And we'll put that at the bottom. And we'll color this one in really quick. I'm like using all the mermaid colors now. The purple and the teal and all that jazz. I'm just super excited, you guys. I want to finish this off so bad. And I, I also get bored with challenges. I'm, I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna even lie. Sometimes challenges can be pretty boring for me because I want uh, quick results. That's why I'm learning to do smaller denomination challenges, and that's okay. All 
All right, not the best color job, but I can go ahead and finish that off. So we now, let's erase this. We now only need one, two, three, four, five, six, four, four, fifteen, ten, six is twenty-four ninety. So was that right? I don't think it was. If it was, oh well. So we only need twenty-four ninety. So we need twenty-four ninety plus our IOU to finish this off. And then we should have it probably finished before the end of the month, which means that we were able to do this in a month, even though we pulled from our savings challenges. That's okay. Um, I'm all about a workaround and trying to get things figured out. So that way later um, we can have better success. So once this challenge is complete, we will be breaking into this jar. You will see it. Um, you will see us break into this jar. Um, I will do a video of my husband and I uh, cracking it open. Um, it, it was never meant to stay forever, you guys. I'm sorry. It just, it wasn't meant to stay forever. I have nowhere to store this. It's unsafe to have uh, a crap ton of money on your desk for the long haul like an emergency. Um, because we don't know when that's going to hit. It's just going to be the same with all the jars. I'm just letting you know now, once a challenge is complete or once a jar is full, then that jar will be busted open. So do what you can with what you got and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.